game day, Sporting Kansas City versus New York Red Bulls. We're back at Sporting Park. I've got my colours on. I've met Molly Dresker. Now, can you explain what you do at the club, Molly? Yeah, I work for Sporting Kansas City Communications Department. So basically, we write all the press releases after the game and the blog posts about the club. But most importantly, we take care of the media, which is you guys. So you're going to take me on a stadium tour? I am. What areas are we going to go and see? We're going to go everywhere. We're going to go on the field. We're going to go in the locker rooms, which are incredible. And of course, we're going to see the suites. Perfect. Let's do this then. All right. Hang on. Just reading the braille. No, it's fine. Just normal men are allowed in. Perfect. See you in a bit. Just get a plaque and just put it there, engrave it. Somebody can cop an item. I'm not going to lie, this is better than the box. <laughs> There's over 300 TVs in this building. You're right here by the... I'll catch you up, don't worry. <laughs> Apparently all the fans are allowed to stand around this area which you don't even get to do in the UK, which makes this more of an arena. Come on guys, can I take your boots? That's it. You know, you no, please, Graham Zussi, don't take those. Those are Aurelian Collins. Unbelievable. Cauldron, which everyone talks about, the blue hell. Apparently, these are the noisiest fans in the whole of the MLS, okay? So, put that into perspective, that's another 19 teams. This is the noisiest fan group here. And I'm gonna be sat amongst them, chatting to them, finding out what it's like to be a sporting KC fan. This could be a lot of fun. This is my first experience to Sporting Park. What have I set myself up for? A really good time. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you're going to have a really good time. No matter what happens tonight, it's always a, pl a blast here. It's always really good and a lot of energy. This is a big game, right? It is a huge game. Oh, no, I don't do interviews. Oh, no! I don't know what I'm setting myself up for, for sitting in the cauldron. I've, I've been to games all around Europe. It's, it's the best place to sit. And I've been to games all around Europe, too. But you know what? The cauldron's the best place to sit. A lot of singing, a lot of chanting. 90 minutes of people standing. I think we've kind of been given that reputation for, for being pretty loud. Yeah, and we bang the hell out of these drums, so I think that increases our uh, intensity quite a bit. And you're having a bit of problem with the drum right now, I Oh, hear. we're just, we gotta replace Edge, you know? It's halfway through the season, and uh, you know, wear and tear. You've, you've drummed too much. No, we've <laughs> drummed the appropriate amount, wear and tear, you know? The Wizards, oh, hello. Yes. You still haven't let that go, have you? Times have changed, you've moved on, but you're still into those spells still and old magic. We're still the wizards, we have heritage, we're moving forward, we're accomplishing great things, but we know who we are yeah. and where you come from. Yeah. We're all together to support the best team in the United States. Right after kickoff, our president will yeah. be in the center aisle right behind me. No. And he's going to stand there for 10, 15 minutes and be a part of the cauldron for the first part of the game. And then yeah. he goes over and sits in his seats. Yeah. So when the president of your club is doing that, it's insane. <laughs> because I look up and I see him chanting and drinking a beer, standing yeah. next to the fans. And it's amazing. You've seen the cauldron over there. They call it the Blue yeah. Hell. Have you heard anything about how noisy those fans are? It can be unbelievably noisy. I mean, they will start singing at the first whistle and won't stop till we're 90. So it's going to be, be a great occasion. Get in there and enjoy it. And have a little chat too. Hector, hey. you are the man of Sporting KC. Nothing People man. know you. Yeah. I feel like I'm walking with the main man. Yeah. Everyone knows you, everyone supports you, everyone cheers you. Tell me, how did you get into soccer? How did you get into Sporting Kansas City? We do a lot of stuff for the soccer, you know, football and, and Kansas City is, is growing so fast. And we had the passion, so yeah, yeah. only what I need to do, need to keep on with the people and Tell the people how I feel about the soccer and keep going. The players aren't even out on the pitch and I feel this energy. You have this man, everyone's dressed up, 
everyone's got a good atmosphere, there's a good feeling about this. And of course, you've had sold out matches but I think 28 games in a row so today will be 29 and hopefully yeah and you know what the other thing is this is my first game after the after my accident I heard about this so are, you, are you feeling good are I you feel better look at me I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> ready I'm ready I had the, I had the feel I had the passion this man had a bit of a, a, a car accident and a lot of fans were telling me that they missed you when you were away re rehabilitating yourself but now you're back this is your first game back it's a long recovered and I don't feel great but you know what the reason I'm here is because I like to stay home. I, I feel the football in my in my blood, and, yeah. and it's it's time to come and support my team. So it's why I'm here. Yeah. It's no ego. It's only it's only our, we do our best for the team, support the team, and we want to be champions. Yeah. Does not get any better than this view right now. Hector's representing, screaming at the fans. I believe that we. I believe that we. I believe that we won't win. season ticket holder since the first day uh, all, all 18 seasons actually the first game was on my 16th birthday so I've been when I was 20 I joined this section when there was about 50 of us yeah and I've helped watch it grow not not all me no, 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 no. me but we've helped grow this all the way to what it is today we're all warriors here because the warriors on the field we want them to feel supported so we have the no boys we have us we have numerous trooper heroes but we're all here to be warriors for our team Make Kansas City the number one soccer city in the whole country. Why is he going us, okay? It's his first game. When we took a tour of this place, I looked over here and I said, okay, that's where I'm sitting. I've been a season member since they built this. When the new owners bought the team, they embraced the fans that yeah. the previous ownership really hadn't done. And then they built this stadium. And when you Beautiful build this stadium. stadium and you let the fans design one end of your stadium with a bar, yeah. Yeah. literally our fans had a hand in designing the stadium. That's amazing. And so when we do that, you see the involvement you get. And now you have all these people that are engaged. It's yeah. insane. So it's so I can't pretend. I can't say you are. Now the second half. Buzzing. Still supporting Kansas City. Play. Still singing loudly. Look at this voice.
This is us. Um, we do us an honour if you wore it. Hector, you're a good man. You're running things. I know you're not at your full uh, fitness yet, but you will be soon. When you're back, you'll be singing. <laughs> Just say thank you very much, Hector. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. There you go, brother. It's perfect. Looking. Hey. Here we are in Sporting Kansas City dressing room after the match. My first experience of an MS game. And I tell you what, what a great one it was. Yes, Sporting lost, but it was a fantastic atmosphere right in the heart of the cauldron with Hector banging away on the drum. It's definitely an experience I will not forget in a hurry. And uh, they've been so good to us, Sporting Kansas City. I'm wearing my badge with pride. Follow the whole journey by subscribing to Copper90. And of course, follow me at the Eurofan. I'll tell you what though, I could be the MLS fan after this. Amazing. Ah!